Hi, my name is Christian Torres, and I'm a CAD team leader at Gladwell Laboratories. Welcome to this episode of CAD CAM Tools, Tips, and Tricks. In this installment, we will be taking a look at design using ExoCAD. Navigate to the ExoCAD software order form screen and click Design. Once in the design portion of the software, you can move the setup. The scan has already created the proper orientation, so you do not need to adjust the positioning. The software will then prompt you to confirm the implant position. Note that the software lists the positions in the international format where they are numbered by quadrant rather than across the arch. Confirm each implant position by pressing next. The software will then ask you to place the teeth. However, this step is unnecessary for bars, so you can just press next again. Navigate to the show slash hide groups window and uncheck the anatomic shapes option to remove the teeth from view. The bar design wizard will then allow you to alter the emergence profile of your abutments with a series of sliders. Click next when the shape is satisfactory. A bar then generates onto your implant sites. To set the rough parameters for the bar, first set the occlusal plane and angulation by left clicking and dragging the green arrow that appears above the palette. Then, extend the framework of the bar past the most posterior post by clicking and dragging the last green sphere on each side of the arch and pulling them posteriorly. This extended section provides the additional strength required to survive the occlusal forces experienced by the rear molars. Using a similar click and drag technique, move the other green bubbles around the arch to approximate the shape of the bar. To correct any undesirable jutting points, go to the bar design wizard switch to the Advanced tab, and click the Rounded button. That will smooth the overall curvature of the bar. Now that the general position and curvature of the bar have been established, the next step is to begin bulking out the bar. At this point, you'll need additional bubbles to gain more control over the Morph features. To add a new point, press Ctrl and left click where you want the point. Add new points at the implant sites, with one bubble directly centered to each screw hole and then one on each immediate post. In total, you want three per implant site. To widen the bar, drag the bubble handles outward. A quick way to do this across one of the surfaces of the bar is to press Ctrl Shift and click on the bar. While holding the Ctrl and Shift keys, all handles turn to dark blue and will move in tandem. Stretch out both sides of the bar so the total width is 3.5 millimeters or greater. Navigate to the Bar Design Wizard and select the Profile tab. Select the Bar Only option. Rotate the camera so that you're viewing the bar from the distal ends, and then click the checkbox next to the Advanced Profile Editing in the Bar Design Wizard. Here at Gladwell Laboratories, we create a specific shape for our bars that creates ideal strength and retention. To achieve this shape, select the Profile tab and click on Advanced Profile Editing. Control click to add new handles to the bar profile. First, add a handle on each side just above the bottom and drag the sides outward to create a taper on both sides. Finally, add a point in the middle of the top tapers you just created and drag that inward, creating a beveled step. The shape should be as uniform as possible on both sides. When you're satisfied, uncheck the checkbox next to Advanced Profile Editing. Back in the Bar Design Wizard, re-click on Bars and Pillars to bring the additional views back up. In an earlier step, you added additional bubble handles around the implant sites. Now, for each implant site, drag these handles to add strength around the screw hole. Try to make a smooth, gradual curve outward around each implant. To do this, pull the center handle out furthest and the handles on both sides out about half that distance. Do this across all the implant sites. Next, in the Bar Design Wizard, switch to the Advanced tab and adjust the distance to gingiva slider to 1.5 millimeters. This will adjust the entire bar so that it is removed from the tissue by at least 1.5 millimeters. Then, switch back to the Profile tab in the wizard and click Pillars. Drag down the height of your pillars so they are not protruding through the top of your bar. 
Do this by grabbing the green arrow and dragging it downward until each pillar should be fully encased within the bar. Once you're happy with the bar curvature, width, profile, distance from the gingiva, and the height of the pillars, click next. The final stage is freeform design. Use the tools in the stage to add or remove portions of the bar as well as smooth and flatten the bottom corners of the design. Depress the smooth slash flatness button and then left click and drag over the bar. Here you have the option to check the box next to pre-op slash wax scans to see if the bar is protruding anywhere. If it is, use the tools in this stage to reduce the areas protruding. Press next when you're satisfied with the design. Screw holes will be automatically generated and then all of the files will begin merging. To ensure a solid outcome, you must first set the occlusion. Second, set the shape. Third, bulk out around the implants. Fourth, position the bar 1.5 millimeters off of the tissue. Fifth, drop the pillars. And lastly, smooth the bottom corners of the design. As you get more comfortable with the design software, each case will be easier than the last.